Hello everyone, so welcome back for another video, and today we're going to be doing a guide, or a small guide anyway, for installing Fancy Star Online 2. It's the sequel to a very popular Dreamcast game that then got ported to the PC, and the GameCube, and the Xbox, and has been everywhere since really. But the West has never got a copy of it, and a lot of dedicated fans took it upon themselves to translate the game for you guys. So... What we're going to do here is, I'm going to link below the things that will make this easier for you. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to Sega's website and download the installer. It's got a big, huge uh, download button above it. It's really easy to find. But you hit the download and wait for the application to finish downloading and then install PSO through that. Now, what it is, is... Because it's a Japanese client, it won't be translated fully. But I'm going to give you a website that will help you translate all or at least most of the game. And also a third-party app, which is safe. Which is provided by fans, which allows you to play the game quite easily. So, this requires a little bit of a backstory as well. So... The game's had a lot of tweaking, similar to if you've played like World of Warcraft in the past, in that it is a lot easier to level now than what it was in the closed beta ages ago. This game's been out for about five years, and it's still really fun. Basically, if you go to the website arxlayer.com, which I'll link in the description, it... it shows you a lot of different things to do with PSO2 and one major key point which you're going to need is the PSO2 tweaker. Originally what happened was this was a replacement for the PSO2 launcher because there was a, a problem with DDoSing about I think it was three years back where Western fans were getting upset that there was no um, no Western release of the game. And as a result, they started DDoSing the servers and hacking it and causing a lot of different problems. You'd see characters outside of the areas they were meant to be in. There were a lot of different bugs that were exploited because of it. And as a result, Japan, for at least for a little while, uh, blocked a lot of ISPs. So you couldn't play the game. And during this time, the tweaker was developed in its first form, from what I remember anyway. And it was... A workaround so you could still get on the game without having to use Sega's official launcher and then translation got worked into it really early on in its development process and you ended up having a lot of the in-game text being translated so it was a lot easier for you to navigate the HUD and other things because back when it was like the closed beta and the open beta and the first month of launch at least uh, everyone was having a nightmare trying to find their way around the menus. Because they're all in Japanese. So the tweaker allows you to automatically patch and download the full game. Or rather the, the up-to-date client for the full game once you've installed it. And allows you to patch it all so it's English. And this is really good because it means you don't have to do anything apart from hit start and download. So that takes out quite a lot of the hassle that you'll have now the last bit of hassle you're gonna have and you're gonna want to make sure this is on chrome by the way because I, I didn't see it working on any other browser is open a sega account now a sega account is linked to pso2 you have to have one to play the game so you're gonna need an email and you're gonna want to check the junk mail folder for sega's response to your account where they'll send you a verification email as soon as you've got that remember your uh, account details bang you're in but the problem is that going through sega's website that's all in japanese as well but luckily enough google will translate quite a lot of it and the only thing you're going to have problems with is the capture everybody has problems with the capture but i've kind of streamlined it it took me ages when i first got on this to to actually run or you know figure out the capture so, I helped somebody with this yesterday, and it took a s still quite a while, because I was trying to figure out what it was. I'd not done it in a while. So, it's in Hiragana, 
instead of katakana, which is one of the other uh, forms of Japanese. And I'm going to give you a keyboard, which will show you all the symbols in hiragana that make up the different sounds, letters, and things. And what you're going to do is, when you see your capture at the bottom of the screen that says type in the capture, all you're going to do is match up the capture with the symbols on the hiragana keyboard. Type it in, in the hiragana keyboard with the caps lock on. And then make sure that you copy it from the Hiragana keyboard onto your Sega account. Once that's done and you hit go, it should accept it. It should be fine. And you should be able to go ahead and just jump straight into the game. Anyway, I hope you guys have fun and I hope this has been helpful for you. Anyway, I'll see you online. Bye!